Okay, we got the walk around video of the Chevy Astro Tiger GT Camper. Okay, at close inspection, we'll point out blemishes that we can see as it's noted on the description, the decal that goes along the body is sun faded. On the driver's side door, there are no dents to be noted. There are some blemishes here on the lower part to be noted. The fender has some road chips. Looks got good. Driver's side door glass. Windshield does show to have a chip and a crack. Grill has Again, the decal faded. Wheels and tires are in great shape. Passenger side front fender, no major blemishes or dents to note other than road chips. Also in good shape, no dents to be noted, glass is in good shape. The top of the camper in the front has the latches that work properly, two in the front and two on each side. The side of the camper on the passenger side, there are some dents on the rear fender to be noted there and some wear and chips on the paint. Rear bumper has some wear and surface rust along the license plate and tow hitch, spur tire carrier, good class, Camper. Let's get the ladder to the roof rack. These PVC pipe holds the sewer line, which connects there. You got your city water connection and your electric connection, as well as your fuel heater. change the angle here for the interior okay wide angle we can see the interior upholstery to be in great shape headliner in good shape all your dash and knobs are in good shape shows about a hundred and eleven almost a hundred and twelve thousand miles Warning lights light up before you start the engine. Once the engine starts, they clear. AC blows nice and cold. Radio does not work. We 
got the passenger side window is not responding on that side <coughs> the driver's side window does properly work so passenger side is not responding we'll open the rear <coughs> from the inside the side door So these van's hood space is very tight, but you can hear the air conditioner properly engages. The engine has a nice healthy idle to it. This right here is to extend the bed, which are these panels that you can lay them down as well with a backrest to make this a bed. And of course the overhead bed, stove, sink, and fridge. And here's the bathroom with shower or shower head there that it expands as we lift the roof. So to lift the roof, the latches, each side and two on the front. And from the inside, it's real simple. All we do is, we can start from the front. We simply just push up. And with this handle, we let it rest right there. And then the rear is similar where you push up. And then you latch there your bathroom extends with this little curtain and there is the canvas all around with these velcro style windows that have double velcro so to be night out and to open for airflow and there's a mesh there Again, in really nice shape. So underneath, it does show that that was replaced at some point and it does show a little bit of moisture there in the corners. Again, this was not doing our ownership. We always kept it indoors and never had any leaks or water issues. So I'm about 5'8 and have plenty of clearance standing up. I did it mostly one-handed as I have the camera 
hand. Very simple, six latches on the outside, and then a prop on the front and a prop on the back. Okay, we are fully extended. So we'll take it for a drive along, and then if there's any further questions, just send us a comment or a direct message via the contact seller.